Okay. That's a good way to start things off. I'm sorry. Alright, first off, let me start by saying that uh, ever since I was a child, I have been highly susceptible to heat stroke. I can't be in the sun for very long periods of time. As I like to say, I'm too black for that. But I'm not. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the whitest black girl you'll ever meet. <sighs> Those of you who know that are true. Um, pool passes is the topic here, sort of. Um, come here. Come here. Come here. Everyone knows my little dog, Luna, right? Adorable, psychotic mutt, Luna. So cute. So evil. Alright, go. Shoot. <clears throat> she, um, she can't be around people, and she can't really be around other- she definitely can't be around other animals, actually. Um, she gets used to people more quickly now, now that we live with other people. Um, so she's not just used to me and my mom, and then occasionally Ivy, my sister, Tatiana, to, most, to, to the rest of you. No one else is allowed to call her that, me. So, she's getting used to people, but she still can't be around animals. We have bunnies in the backyard, and she goes halfway crazy trying to break through the glass, trying to get to the dumbasses, so... What? Come on. So, um... I walked all the way down to the office, which was like a three mile walk. In my defense, I wore these, so, you know, I, I, I have heelys, which means running down the hill, I mean, r rolling down the hill, you know, would get me there faster. But I forgot not to bring that with me, because normally we go out on walks at that time, and so I was half thinking, okay, be presentable to pick up your pool pass, don't wear your workout clothes, and also... I automatically took Luna with me. So, um, I'm walking down, running, rolling down there in my fucking Heelys, in my fucking jeans, and it's fucking hot. And, um, I know it's a bad idea, and I don't realize it's a bad idea until I, I, I remember that I wasn't supposed to bring her with me, uh, halfway, more than halfway <clears throat> there, actually. So that was, that was great, and I laughed about it, and I thought, I just tired to a post pick up my thingy. And I did. I tied her to a post, tied her pretty tightly. It actually, took a couple minutes getting the knots out. <laughs> and I picked up my pass, and it was all good. But then I realized, if I continue, I will pass out. So I sit underneath some shade, like, two feet away from the office. And all of a sudden, a little dog, well, not really little, this thing was fat, he runs up to us. And I'm like, oh shit, my dog will kill her. <laughs> So I pick up my dog and like, come here, come here, yeah, demonstration, and like, do this so that the other dog can sniff her ass, but she's not having it, so I thought, oh shit, is this the boy dog, is, she's gonna, is he gonna stop humping my dog? But I'm hoping it's not, because it's wearing a pink, um, a very, very, very pink, uh, what's it called, harness? So, but then I realized, it's a girl, um, it's got no balls, unless it's got circumcised. Not circumcised. Unless it just got completely just messed up or something, but I think there were nipples. I don't know, I couldn't check. Didn't check. I'm not into bestiality, you guys. I'm just not. It's it's not an okay thing with me. So, um, I have to wrap Luna's really long leash. I brought the long leash with me so that she could roll with me. I was half thinking, half not thinking at the time when I brought her with me. But yeah. I brought her leash with the long leash with me, so it took a little while to wrap it around my thing, or around my arm, and this is really big, so it also comes off often, so I was complicated, all while trying to get this other dog, who's very excited to meet my dog, not trying to keep her from being bitten, so I get my dog, and I have her on the ground, and I pick up the other one, and I walk back to the office, dying, my arm is killing me because of the heat, and because I have this hypermobility syndrome, which makes, you know, me have to pop and crack all of my... Mm, body all the time um, it makes my limbs very weak extremely weak I can barely hold a pen and it can't be any smaller than this <laughs> so yeah so you know hypermobility made it difficult to carry that large dog very heavy I'm used to six pounds that thing was at least twelve so that's not animal abuse So, I'm trying to figure out where this thing belongs, and it, it walked next to us for a short time, but Luna kept trying to bite my hand, trying to get down to the dog, so instead I switched places, I put my dog down, pick up the other dog, and walk over to the office, 
And so I try to find its owner, see um, where I saw it run from, run, run out from, uh, and but I put it down, but then it runs off. And so I try to catch up with my heelys, hoping it won't run away, but it ran away anyway. So um, I got up a hill, and then some kid found some kids, very sociable dog. I asked the kids to hold it, but the kids, of course, chase the dog, and the dog gets away. By the time I get up, another very large heel, we, uh, hill, hill, and my heelys. Not easy. See, I would have taken the wheels out with the tool that's over there somewhere, but I knew I might have to roll down the hill in a couple seconds to go after the dog, so I didn't take them off. So it was very, it was great. So I walk back to the office, and I'm about to pass out. So they kindly give me some water while I, out of breath, explain the situation, whatever, or re-explain, because there's another person. Anyway. They so give me some ice, I give her some water, she breaks it, everybody, somebody gives me a ride home, and I'm happy to be home now. That was like two hours ago. Not two hours ago. That was a two hour long adventure. It happened about 15 minutes, five minutes? A short amount of time ago. So, that was fun. Woo! An hour? An hour and a half. About an hour and a half. And it happened like 15 minutes ago. So, yeah, that's it. I wanted to share this with you guys because I'm I'm alone here <laughs> since I moved to North Carolina, which is probably why I feel the need to tell Facebook everything. I guess it's just my desperate uh, attempt to reach out to the people I miss. <laughs> you know? So. Yeah. I guess that's it. Ah. Uh, I guess maybe I'll put this on my YouTube channel. Tiger Winchester, by the way, is my YouTube channel. Subscribe! Uh, T-Y-G-E-R. If you can't figure out how to spell Winchester, then I probably should stop being friends with you. Uh, that was mostly a joke, because, you know, there, I might have some friends who might be spelling challenged. That's okay. I love you guys anyway, and you know it. Anyway, uh, since this is going to be on my YouTube channel, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, later with an 8. Tiger out. Come on, come here. Say hi to you two. No, no, get back up here. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come here. Ugh. Later with an eight. Yeah.